Hello, today we're going to talk about Mr. FPGA, a classic gaming device. Mr. FPGA is an open source project designed to recreate the functionality of classic PCs, arcade games, and consoles as accurately as possible using modern hardware. It allows software and game images to run as they would on original hardware. For this, Mr. uses FPGA technology. While most processors have a fixed architecture, FPGAs are designed to be reconfigured to clone whatever old gaming hardware they are programmed to. The title itself comes from an older FPGA-based project called MIST that was designed to run retro computers like the Amiga and Atari ST. MIST is an older version of Mr. FPGA. The MIST project picks up from the earlier project, but it's built uh, around a more powerful readily available development kit with an FPGA, HDMI, USB, micro SD, and more. Because it's built on a standard, commercially available base, it's expandable in lots of interesting open source ways. So it's a, uh, it's a retro gaming platform you assemble yourself. Now we can talk about the usage. The Mister is an emulation machine and that's fun focused quite specifically. You might uh, you might even say obsessively on accuracy. Mister FPGA is a widely used uh, platform in gaming community, specifically in retro gaming, since it allows person to replicate all retro games almost identically. Some of the most iconic retro games that can be run by Mister FPGA are Bomb Jack, Donkey Kong, Sengoku 3, and Shock Troopers. Uh, one will also have access to dozens of arcade cores, including the full Capcom CPS-1 and CPS-2 libraries. There are scores of classic computing platforms and lots of familiar ones like 486, uh, Atari ST, Apple II um, Plus, Sharp X68, uh, the WWW, uh, ZX Spectrum, and more. Now I'm going to talk about how uh... Mr. FPGA works. Mr. FPGA adds several ports to original D10 nanoport. Mr. R starts from uh, entry level as a bare D10 uh, nanoport and uh, adds SDRM port. This small port plugs onto the GPIO connector to the D10 nanoport, whilst the D10 nano uh, has uh, fast uh, DDR3 memory, it cannot be used to emulate a retro edo uh, due to a high latency and charge shared usage from the ARM side. The, uh, this SDR uh, RAM uh, on a smaller board is required for most cores to emulate a retro memory module. Uh, then uh, it adds I.O. board. This board plugs uh, into the GPIO one connector of the uh, D10 uh, nano board and it throws a legacy VGA output, six bits per component, analog audio, uh, digital optical audio, patterns, and LEDs. This board is useful if you prefer VGA over HDMI or you want to put the mister inside the case uh, so you can get the uh, full package. This board also helps uh, for core development. HDMI's color code requires around twice as much time to compile while complying for VGA only will speed up development. This board is uh, not required to run most cores, but it's better for um, better improvement uh, performance. Uh, also, we have RTC board. This board is plugged into the LTC connector and provides a real-time clock. You still can have a real-time clock without uh, the port if Mr. is connected to internet via Ethernet. Only two cores use this feature, so it's only for uh, additional features. And lastly, USB hub board. This board board adds uh, a seven port USB hub that is under the main board. So to sum up, we have IO board on top of the uh, D10 nano board, and we also have SDRM board on top of D10 nano board. And uh, under uh, the, the main board, we have a USB hub board. Now we can name uh, some pros and cons of Mr. FPGA. Uh, there are some advantages. For example, uh, very first thing to note is that FPGA is true to original hardware. Mr. FPGA based on hardware implementation is more accurate than software-based emulation, meaning decreased input and output latency when precise timing is essential. Uh, also, it is fun to build and configure, considering the frequent updates and new features to try out all the time. As the chips in the original vintage hardware start to fail due to age, the act of preserving their architecture in VHDL means they will be available and can be reproduced in the future. Future. Another thing is the cost. It is less expensive than dozens of old systems, never mind the price of upgrading them. Uh, 
Uh, the simplicity is, is the next thing. The mystery is a refreshingly simple, a simple machine. It almost feels like an appliance. There is a simple interface available both in game and before you load a core. You select a core which configures the FPGA to emulate your chosen hardware and from there you load up a game to play. Uh, one uh, last thing is the constant update. Arcade games are being added uh, constantly. New systems, new arcade ports are added and consoles are used. Uh, now uh, moving on to the disadvantages of Mr. FPGA, we can uh, name uh, some of them. For example, fewer systems is one uh, um, uh, presentation representative of disadvantages. The Mr. cannot run a name like PC or Raspberry Pi. Each arcade system has to be implemented separately. FPGA limits clock speed. FPGA design limits the complexity and clock speed that can be achieved in hardware simulation. It's unlike to, the, uh, to see the fifth generation console on the D10 Nano, uh, D Nano hardware. Uh, the uh, next thing is DIY. To build and configure Mister, it does require reading and some trial and error. It requires basic knowledge of Linux and some other coding systems. Uh, the next thing is the cartridge port. Unlike the analog consoles, which include cartridge ports for a totally plug and play experience, the Mister requires you to bring your own uh, error ones. Maybe you have already ripped your cart on your disk-based games, or you could acquire something like the Retro 2 to dump your carts now. Uh, the design is one of the uh, disadvantages of Mr. FPGI. A lot of arcade games were designed to be Tata mode, uh, which means flipping the screen 90 degrees to either the left or right. Every once in a while, you have to be aware that, uh, that this happens and the game will be on its side because it, it, is, it is designed to be built into the arcade cabinet where it would have a tall and skinny monitor. And uh, the uh, last one is availability. It is much more expensive than say the typical $100 clone system, which gave a lot to gamers on a budget. Mister is not for everyone. To get one pre uh, to get one pre-configured with no case, it's gonna cost about uh, $350 with the case and I'll set up about $450. Now I'm going to talk about some alternatives for FPGA, Mr. FPGA. The Raspberry Pi is a more affordable than D10 Nano, uh, uh, Mr. FPGA, uh, but a Raspberry Pi running uh, retro is capable of emulating everything from the NES all the way up to the PSP and Dreamcast. Unlike the Mr. Uh, the Raspberry Pi uh, does that this through software emulation, while uh, Mr. FPJ does this uh, through uh, hardware emulation. Uh, the main reason you should uh, choose Mr. over the Raspberry Pi is the accuracy. Mr. plays your games how they were intended to be played, offering fantastic built-in scaling options and some nice internal filters with no impact performance. However, uh, Mr. FPGA uh, uh, is harder to set up. On the other hand, it is uh, easier to set up, but it's, uh, it is less accurate and it has less accurate emulation. Uh, uh, besides uh, Raspberry Pi, there are some cheaper alternatives to uh, Mr. FPGA. There are, there are, these are SID FPGA, CXTOs, Unamiga, and uh, older version of uh, Mr. FPGA. However, uh, these alternatives are, are way worse uh, in, uh, in terms of uh, performance. Now we can talk about uh, some latest improvements on speed of Mr. FPGA. One is Alter Cyclone VSE FPGA with 110,000 LE and 5,570 kilobyte of block array. Uh, AERM Cortex in uh, 12 core CPU at 800 megahertz. HDMI video and audio allowing contact to any modern uh, connect to any modern monitor and TV. It also uh, has some DDR3 one uh, gigabyte available for both AIRM and FPGA. Uh, high speed of uh, AIRM and ARM and FPGA interconnect due to both being in the same chip. Uh, also, Linux on ARM provides support for many IO devices and file systems. And the last thing uh, is that board is mass produced by a large manufacturer and freely available for a relatively cheap price, uh, about 170 USD dollars. 
and 145 USD dollars for students and professors. Uh, so today we talked about Mr. FPGA, uh, discussed uh, its usage, what it is, how it works, talked about some pros and cons of it, uh, talked about alternatives and latest improvements. And thank you for listening.